this episode of Bulldog TV, we talk about a way to watch your waistline. And a deeper look at the Bulldog TV family. Bulldog TV starts now. Welcome to Bulldog TV. I'm Ty. And I'm Valerie. A lot of us like to stay healthy and sometimes it could be a juggling act. First year students Ramondo and Sammy give us some ideas on how to live a healthy lifestyle. Today there are many problems with society. Some people see themselves as too fat. Others think they're too skinny. Sometimes people think they need to lose weight, but not everyone should. Anybody. Anybody can lose weight. It just depends on what kind of goals you want to set for yourself and then you can kind of set the idea of what you want to have, of what, what weight you want to lose. According to specialists, you should see a doctor before losing weight. If you're looking to lose weight, you might want to talk to a doctor or a healthcare provider because not everybody needs to lose weight, so uh, they would probably have the best opinion if it's right for you um, to take part in more exercise or maybe changing your diet. Um, there's also some internet resources that could be trusted and some magazines that you could look at. Activities vary with each person depending on their health and personal preference. To start your workout plan, I suggest that you find something that you enjoy. Nobody likes to do certain activities and I, I personally don't like to run, so I'm not going to go out and start running because I'll probably get frustrated and, and stop. So I try to pick activities that I like, like outdoor activities. Um, going to the park and playing disc golf, or I like to play softball or volleyball. So those things that I enjoy, I'm more likely to do more often because they keep me happy instead of making me upset. An excuse many people use for exercising is that they don't know where to go. There's lots of places. You can go to the Jones Center. You could go to Planet Fitness, I think has $10 memberships. The U Center has $10 memberships. Or go in your backyard, go to a playground, do a hoop it up one-on-one -on -one with your neighbor. Many people think exercising in the morning is the best time to exercise. Um, I recommend exercising whenever it's best for you. It could be before school, after school, it could be during school, in PE class, or if you're in, uh, involved in athletics. Uh, maybe you don't have as much time because you go to school all day and you work, uh, but you could go on the weekends and take part in activities that you like. There are different kinds of routines people can follow. You should get in a daily routine of eating right and exercising because it's not just a one day fix. You can't just exercise once and lose weight and you can't just eat right one day. Um, so if we all could get in the habit of exercising every day for at least 30 minutes, an hour would be even better. Um, and eating right most of the time would be um, very helpful to losing some weight. People can exercise daily but not see changes in their body. Your daily diet determines how much weight you can lose. Um, lots of proteins, or lean proteins, like turkeys, chicken, fish, and then any fruits and vegetables and lots of water so you stay hydrated. It's dangerous to keep losing weight after you reach your goal. You should stop when you reach the goal that you want to have. Um, when you reach the, the number that you want to be at, after that you just want to maintain it. So keep eating healthy, keep exercising, and then that's when you know you can stop. People often set weight loss goals, but not everyone succeeds. Um, I think people don't successfully lose weight because they get frustrated because they don't have immediate results. If you're trying to lose weight, you can't expect to lose 10 pounds in a week. Uh, shoot for a pound or two, um, and depending on your size and how much you want to lose, you've got to know that it's a long-term goal, not just a short-term goal that's going to magically happen overnight. There are various reasons to lose weight. When you lose weight, not only do you affect yourself, but you also affect others around you. Uh, makes you feel good. You stay positive, you look right, you feel right, and usually you have a better attitude and look on life when you, you feel good. How do I think it'll affect others? Um, if you're right or if you're in a good mindset, it's easier for you to push and do that with other people as well. There are many different ways for an individual to stay fit. I personally stay fit by walking around Springdale High School every day. Um, I probably average five to six miles a day just going from classroom to classroom um, up and down the hallways. Um, I try to participate in my PE classes. It's hard to just sit back and watch the kids having fun and playing different games, so I jump in and play with them. And then I also have uh, softball practice like three hours after school, so I'm either hitting balls or throwing and um, helping out with those activities. So that's how I stay active throughout the week, and during the weekend I try to go to the park and uh, we play disc golf and uh, different activities like that. At SHS, we offer classes to help understand health wellness. 
Some examples are food and nutrition, health, and nutrition and wellness. If you want to get involved in any of these classes, talk to your CAP advisor. From Bulldog TV at SHS, Sammy. Remember, if you want to know more about nutrition and wellness, make sure to check out the class. Some may think that IB is an all-study and all-work program. However, it is also full of hands-on learning. Yvette and Jeanette have the scoop. IB is the international baccalaureate program offered here at SHS, but IB is not all about hitting the books. They also have time for experiments. IB is not only supposed to be about academics and just working hard all the time and having numerous amounts of work to do, it's also about having fun. We had a murder crime scene experiment and we were testing four solutions to see who the murder suspect was. Even though the IB offers different classes, some classes do come together to work together. Um, this day was really to help us see what each class does. I'm in biology, Mary Catherine's in chemistry, and today we are seeing what biology does and what chemistry does. And this is what we're learning in class right now is testing solutions with different um, solvents that's in them and how they react with certain chemicals. IB helps kids open the door to their own future. IB also gives you the um, ability to choose what you would like to study. You have options and you really are able to take your education into your own hands. I joined IB because I wanted a challenge and I wanted to explore my creative side and IB um, really challenges me and makes me step up my game and think outside the box rather than um, most programs or academies at Springdale. Being involved in IB, students get to really experience activities that help them express their creative side and prepare for their future. For Bulldog TV, I'm Jeanette. Teachers, if you have any awesome hands-on activities in your classroom and you want them featured on Bulldog TV, let us know. Many of you have seen Bulldog Pride video as well as Bulldog TV, but that is just a part of what makes up the Bulldog TV production family. Brandon and Jesus give you a look into our dysfunctional yet lovable family of storytellers. Video production is a class where the student is not only affected academically, if not socially and even personal in occasions. Um, this class has helped me grow as a person because it's helped me cooperate with people when before I wasn't ever patient with them and now I feel like I can actually be more patient with all of my work and not get stressed out. This class has had an impact on my life. It's, you can't say it's a big one. But um, it takes time. It does take a lot of time, extra, like after school time. But it's fun. I enjoy this class. I'm learning new things that I'm not, that I wasn't aware of before. And the stuff that this is showing me, it's showing me how to go out and like use these skills for the real world. Students are able to show their skills working with cameras as well as they show their abilities as they interact with people. Um, I have come, I'm not as shy anymore as I used to be. Um, we are, I'm more outgoing now and I'm glad I am. Uh, I'm a lot, this class has helped me, it's, it's a shame to say, but it's helped me socially because I don't talk to a lot of people. And so like interviewing people and doing short films and uh, getting to meet and talk to new people actually helps me. Although there are classes capable of having the same impact on our students, this is more of a hands-on experience. Uh, this class is really fun, yet hardworking. I, we get work done, but it's really, we socialize a lot, and the teacher is always getting on to us for finishing our work, and it really helps me a lot, because it helps me not procrastinate. This class is particularly different from other classes, because it isn't one, what one expects. You know, you walk in and, uh, you just expect to watch videos all the time, but it's, an, it's a hands-on uh, class, you know. As soon as you walk in, you get to use cameras, you get to learn, and it's fun. This class is different from other classes because I'm doing more hands-on things. I'm actually going out, learning how to set up, learning how to use the camera, learning how to white balance. Then I'm coming back and importing my stuff and learning from my mistakes, filming and editing it. 
Teamwork is taken serious in video production. The students listen into each other's ideas and combine them to create a successful project. For Bulldog TV, I'm Jesus. If you are interested in being a part of Bulldog TV, make sure to talk to your counselor. Time for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll look at a close-up at one of our talented Bulldogs. I'm Brendan Cook, and I approve this message. Good morning, Springdale High School. This is your president, Brendan Cook. And I just want to tell you a little bit about student council. One of the first things we do in student council is we try to create the spark in school. We try to show the best school spirit. Go Bulldogs! We help with the Colors Day and the homecoming pep rallies. We try to make it as fun as possible and try to put smiles on people's faces and we just try to have fun. It takes a lot of time, but it looks beautiful because we you know we are the truth. The third thing we do is we like to help all the students out. If you have a problem, please come see me. Please, I'll help you. Please join student council or else you should join because if not, me and you gonna have some problems. The hallways at SHS are filled with many talented students. This week, Alfredo and Jeff take a look at senior Dylan George. Starting something big in your life doesn't happen without hard work and effort. Got my DSLR camera, I think I've made nine music videos so far. And I have like two more music videos this week and it's going pretty good so far and I'm getting paid for all of them so that makes me happy. It's pretty good money for a high school kid I guess. Planning ahead is great for future plans and goals. After I graduate I'm headed to SAU Tech to study film and video and my ultimate goal in the future is to make a music video for Drake because I just watch his music videos and I love all of them. I just want to be that guy to direct it for him. Loving what you do is always a necessity in your field. Of course it's fun. I just, uh, sometimes it does get frustrating though because some, they'll, some people will just tell you, hey, meet me here and we'll start shooting a video. But, and I'll get there 10 minutes early and they get there 30 minutes late. And that happens a lot and I guess you just got to get used to it. But it's always fun in the end. So More great things are yet to come for the Bulldog Pride music video. Ken Trez, he had called me and I and he wanted to record a song because Coach White asked him to record a Bulldog song for them to run out to for the basketball team. And so I just went over there and got all my audio equipment and we recorded the song in actually about 30 minutes and I came home and mixed it in about 30 minutes. And then we put it on SoundCloud and a few hours later it had over a thousand views and Miss Moore and Ty Smith, they came to me asking because they want to make a music video. and. I was originally supposed to make the music video for him, but and then we just kind of all worked as a team and it turned out really good. And right now I think it has a little bit over 3,000 views. We the Bulldogs, we the Bulldogs, we the I think the only thing I have left to say is I just want to say shout out to my brother Quinn. He's up in New York City right now and we're still making things work. He's been gone for like two years, but we're still making all our music. And he comes down here every summer, I go up there every summer, it's pretty fun. From Bulldog TV, I'm Jeff Church. If you have a suggestion for a student profile, please email rmore at estale.org. Time for another break. And for this break, we have an award-winning PSA produced by Bulldog TV member Mariel Resendez and her fellow HOSA members. They received gold last week at the HOSA State Competition for this PSA. We have some awesome classes offered here at SHS. One of them makes it possible for you to work and get credit. Selena, Ben, and Christian tell us more about Jack. If you are a junior or senior, think about Jack as one of your classes. Jag is Jobs for Arkansas Graduates, and it is a program uh, funded by the state of Arkansas. And we, Springdale is one of the very first Jag programs in the state uh, over uh, 10 years ago. Teenagers nowadays don't know how to administrate their money. 
Jack gives you a detailed process on how to administrate your money correctly. The Jack program, which is a program dedicated to help students here find a job, um, or they also help uh, you learn interview skills. Um, they talk about uh, how to manage your money and your financial uh, responsibilities. And um, it's a good program. So if you're junior or coming in junior or a um, senior, then you should definitely sign up. Finding a job can always be complicated. JAG teaches you how to not make it complicated. The requirements for JAG is you have to talk to Mr. James or Ms. Reed. Um, you have to have a CTE class and you have to fill out the application. Plus you have to have a job. If any incoming juniors or seniors would like to apply for JAG, talk to Ms. Reed in room 411 or Mr. James in room 412. The benefits of having JAG are the fact that you get to get out earlier than any other student here. Um, it looks good on your diploma thing, your transcript. Um, it shows that you have work in the professional experience. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Ty. And I'm Valerie. Stay classy, Springdale.